Hey everybody, it's Wilbits. We are playing Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery Year 5, Chapter 7. The Life and Death of Duncan Ash. Duncan Ash knows where to find the Marauder's Map, but he blames your brother for his death. To discover the map's location, you'll need to uncover what happened. And maybe... Fix him? Gasp! Level up! More gasps! Doing well in House Pride! Additional gasps! <laughs> okay. Oh man, so much has been going on. I, I feel like I need to recap the events that we've been through in like the last week. Uh, I did manage to get this outfit. The spiders and the, the long hair. Where is that? This one. Yes. So you can really look like... Just the fabulous elf, especially if you make it like the white hair, which I've seen a lot of people doing. If you really want to get the like, the evil warlock magician, I didn't realize at first that these were spider webs, but this was the the house pride event that a lot of people just weren't able to get because I know that it had. There's just those house pride events are just not that fun. Um, there was also a dueling event. We're gonna revert that for now. Um, the dueling event gave us the Melaphores Jinx, that lets you put a pumpkin on their head. It's not that great of a spell, it does a little bit of damage and stuns them for like, a turn. Uh, it, 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 if it did a lot of damage, that would be a pain to miss out on. The dueling event kind of stunk, it was no, no good. Um, they've been getting progressively worse, I think. We're in the middle of another, just collect the stars, which are at least, like, fair. You can get this purple frog! I've already been working on it. That's it. I'm already tired of talking about events. Uh, we're gonna go talk to Hagrid about Duncan Ash! Cause that's what matters! Duncan's Donuts! Boat Truggle. I agree. <laughs> Just testing to make sure I can make all the animal noises, huh? Fine. Will you come join the fun? I didn't expect to see Sickleworth, and he's just increasingly a free agent who goes where he pleases. <laughs> and Barnaby Jr. <laughs> he's a proper creature party. <laughs> hey, where's the 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 fire crab I got you, huh? Don't be jealous, Fang. Dogs are welcome too. Why are these creatures here? Have you heard of the Marauders map? Let's get to business. This is nice. But I know why the creatures are here. You like creatures. There are just creatures here, and that's fine. Have you ever heard of the Marauders map, Hagrid? I remember hearing the name whispered about some years back, but that's about all. Why do you ask? I tried to get it from the ghost of a student named Duncan Ash, but he refuses to talk to me. I remember Duncan. He was a friend of your brother's. Shame what happened. He died far too young. Do you know how? I feel like he blames his death on my brother. Not exactly, but I'll tell you what I know. Alright, let's spend an hour discussing the grisly death of Duncan Ash. There we go. I like being able to knock him out in one go like that. Well, if they were both looking for brooms after theirs were broken, I suppose I can see what Madame Hooch knows. Thanks for your help, Hagrid. You're welcome, Will! See you later, Sickleworth. <laughs> you too, Barnaby Jr. <laughs> Bye, Fang. <laughs> what are you mad at me for? I saved you from the Devil's Snare and gave you your name. Oh. Don't mind it, Will. He's just upset you're leaving. Oof. Just a big baby, this one. Well, that's very, very cute. Um, alright. Flying class is about to begin. Please proceed to the training grounds. Kinda hoping this is a proper flying class, so I can double dip on the things I have to do. I'm getting a little... This is a neat outfit, but it's a little too cop. I'm gonna... I'm gonna change back. There we go. Crazy pajamas, crazy hair, Weasley shirt. This feels a little more casual. We're gonna rock this until something cool comes along. 
And let's head over to flying class. Hopefully it is flying class. I'm working on a new potion that can help free Beatrice. Good, good, as long as you're feeling positive about it. Are you any close to finding the Marauder's map? It could help with my own uh, investigations. I think I might know the identity of the Dark Wizard who attacked us, but I want to be sure. Let's talk soon. Okay, Ben. All right. Everybody's been working real hard on things. Hi, Madam Hooch. Can you tell me what you remember about Duncan Ash? That depends, Mr. Bits. Did you fly a broom into the Forbidden Forest last year? Let's be it. Let's... Let's tell her the truth. We're going to tell the truth to her. Yes, I did. Yes, but only because I wanted to help break the sleepwalking curse, and I had to find my brother. Dumbledore actually gave me detention for it. There are worse things than detention, Mr. Bits. See me after class. Am I going to get double detention? Oh, come on! All right, three hours once I get some energy stored up. All right, this is definitely not going to class... Alright, this is definitely not going to count as a class, which is... Hmm... But, alright. Knocked it out of the park! You wanted to see me, Madam Hooch? You didn't have to tell the truth about your flight into the Forbidden Forest, Mr. Bits. I appreciate your honesty. Well, thank you! And your continued willingness to work hard and help your classmates. You are a true Hufflepuff, and you've earned ten points for your house. Alright! Can you tell me what you remembered about Duncan Ash? Mr. Ash was an excellent flyer, absolutely fearless. Some might say too fearless, not to mention too ambitious. He came to me looking for a new broom after his had been destroyed. Destroyed? Charred and shattered to smithereens. He claimed to not know how it happened. Did Snape get a hold of it? Because he... What do you think happened? I can't be certain, but he and your brother were known to frequent Zonko's joke shop. Ah. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if one of the ridiculously dangerous products were the cause of the damage. Hmm, check out Zonko's, you say? Um, Zonko's is what is going to open for business. Explosions are unwelcome, but oftentimes funny. Don't explode things in Zonko's, it'll get even worse. Before we do any of that, I actually forgot, because it slipped my mind amongst all of these contests, um, but I have enough of the notebooks to actually buy one of the pets. And, um, I don't have 60 yet, so I can't quite get the cap, but I'm gonna get the crop! I'm gonna get the croppy! I've been meaning to do it! Let's, just right now! I'm just getting it, yes! We're gonna buy the crop! I mostly want the energy! Boop! Hey, croppy! Oh, it's so cute! It's a two-tailed dog! I can assume that it uses them to fly like tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. But, okay, croppy! Check! I'm not sure how long notebooks are going to be around. Hopefully a lot longer because I have missed um, a few of the potential ones. Um, and there are still like 110 worth of pets to get. Plus these skins that you can get for the different characters and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and bef but before we go over to the joke shop, I'm going to head over to the Screech Snap lesson. Just to start to get those out of the way. Because not getting those class points has given me the itch to get more class things going. So we are going to check this out. Screech Snap. Good day, class. Today we'll be studying a semi-sentient plant. The Screech Snap. Semi-sentient. Semi if, like myself, you've been teased for talking to plants, you will find this lesson particularly vindicating. A plant that talks to us. All right. Three hours. Let's, let's get that squared away before we head to Zonko's. Okay. Screech Snap. There's much to learn about the Screech Snap and little time, so let's get started. So, in being called a Screech Snap, and being supposedly partially sentient, do, do they just scream at you? Is that why they're called? They just screech and snap? Because that does not sound pleasant. <laughs> My impression of the plant. Have you been I hope so. It's time for a quiz. Screech snaps are capable of doing which of the following? Um, moving and making noise. Those other two are way too cool for plants to do. Become invisible or time travel. That's what I want to do. Either of those. I can move and make noise. Who cares? That's not a superpower. 
All right, nothing tremendously new going on here. Classes are definitely kind of all blending together a little bit. Oh, we got a full five crests for that, though. That's nice. But I wonder when your stations are clean, you are dismissed. Good, good, good. Great news. All right. Let's go talk to Bilton Barms at last. What's up, my pranksters? What you, Bilton? I've been thinking about opening my own joke shop someday. I'm buying a biting doorknob. Something to keep my guests on their toes. I just figure, hey, welcome to my home. Hope you hate it. Ah, the most mischievous trio in the wizarding world has returned to Zonko's joke shop. I actually came here to ask you a few questions. Ah, you see? I've always known you were well on your way to becoming a true master of mirthful disaster. I sort of uh, ask about a former Hogwarts student named Duncan Ash. I think he used to shop here. He did indeed. Always requesting the strangest things. I'll explain further after assisting this customer who has been patiently waiting for a state-of-the-art biting doorknob. Yes, it has 300 teeth. Yeah, that's right. I want to make sure it just shreds their hands. Some people believe things are overrated. Whoa! Ah! You got pranked by your own pranks? Congrats, you played yourself! Triple R! Ah! Why are the thanks for you, Risby's just hovering like that? They do this sometimes. If you value your cranium, I suggest you keep completely still. Their vision is based on movement or fear, I forget. Don't worry. It's imperative that you don't worry. I'll try to find the right time to blast these things. Be careful. Destroying them in the proper order is paramount to preserving your noggin. Huh? What? Say what kind of puzzle is this? I almost wish there was some kind of like cause and effect puzzle going on there because that sounds fun. But instead it is three hours of clicky doos. So clicking, we do. Alright, let's blast these suckers. Nice that you get to do a little... Do a little spell. Clean up those frisbees. Get your shop under control. Bilms. You did it. Uh, can I have my biting doorknob now, or do I have to bite my guests manually? Hello? I'm far too emotional to be productive. <laughs> off with you, good sir. Off! Off! Fine. Then I'll see you in the newspaper after I bite everyone I know. That's just how it's gonna happen. There was something you wanted to ask? Um, how are you still alive? Is funny. But let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Will you tell me about Duncan? Of course, the least I could do in return for keeping my head attached to my neck. Duncan Ash was a talented mischief maker with an unmistakable mean streak. He was also quite brilliant. He would buy items from the shop, deconstruct them, and put them back together in delightfully destructive ways. Mm. He was continually pushing the limits of everything. Jokes, potions, the very rules of Hogwarts. Do you know what happened between him and my brother? Knowing those two and his unfortunate fate, I can only assume it was something both fantastic and catastrophic. I suppose the only ones who know the whole story are Duncan, the headmaster, and your brother. Oh. So I guess we need to talk to Dumbledore about it, since he's the only one we have access to it. And he's gone too, though, so... Me being up in the room, bitch, it's time once again to prove myself invaluable. All right, I'll hear you out on this, Marula. What's going on? Hey, it's really dark in here. Somebody cast a Lumos. Thank you for helping me. You two have spent more time in this room than anyone. I'm hoping you can help me find some clues to what happened between Duncan Ash and my brother. 
Are you... Are you and Lola friends now? Um, huh. If I'm up to six with Tulip, I can say we'll never be friends. And I guess Tulip would like that? But I feel like we're working it out is kind of closer to what's happening. I'm going to say, I'm not sure what we are, but I'll work with anyone to find the next vault and save Beatrice and my brother. Jealous Tulip? How could I be? You possess less intelligence, less confidence, and a complete lack of integrity. But I'm so much more interesting, don't you agree? Bits? Let's start searching because this, uh, this conversation got very awkward very quickly. I'm looking for anything that mentions a boy named Duncan Ash. Dunk? Dunko? Dunkin' Donuts? Specifically anything about what my brother had to do with his death. Lumo, sit up! Why didn't we start this? I've been talking to you weirdos in the dark. You two have some issues to work out that I had nothing to do with. Okay. Let's get that straight. Alright. Three hours of searching for clues. Let's scooby-doo it up in here. It's pretty cool looking with our Lumoses here. Everybody just kind of getting dramatic lighting. Need more dramatic music. dun 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 Ooh, I found a letter that mentions Duncan. Do not blame yourself, Jacob. Duncan Ash chose his path, and all paths end in the same place. Rome? All except ours. Despite what she told you, we could only accept one member regardless of what happened with the vaults. You were always the favorite, but this tragedy along with Miss Green's fate, negates the need for further discussion. Continue your search, trust your instincts, and rid your mind of rats and centaurs. Remember, there are no friends on the path to enlightenment and immortality. There is only us. R. My brother was working with R? Who's Miss Green? Another friend of Duncan and my brother's. It sounds like they were all working together to find the vaults. For enlightenment and immortality? For R? To become a member of... something? Hmm. I'm nearly puzzled by the mention of rats and centaurs. I mean, those are clues, for sure, but those are probably the least puzzling part of this. It's actually the only part that how it makes sense. I need to talk to Torvus. Mmm... Consulting our centaur. Certainly. Meet me in the forest grove. I hope this doesn't have anything to do with your brother. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. So, I know I was joking in the moment about where all roads lead. Obviously, that means mortality. All men must die, especially since they were talking about Duncan Ash having just become a ghost at the time. And so, everybody dies except us. That really sounds like R is Tom Riddle and... The vaults involve some horcruxes, and maybe some of the clues that we've found are horcruxes, actually? That's gonna be bad news if we have to destroy Torvus's, um, arrowhead that we gave back to him. Uh, okay, do we talk to- do we talk to him first, or do we do classes? Uh, I will meet Torvus first. We'll meet him. We'll do that. Because I'm more excited about that anyway. And I'll put off the other stuff if I gotta. If I gotta. Is that Charlie? Squint? Yes. Thanks for meeting us, Torvus. My pleasure. You two are marginally better conversationalists than the trolls and red caps. Hey, speaking of trolls, come on. <laughs> we found out there might be a dragon hiding somewhere in the castle. Congratulations. Uh, thanks, Torvus. That's not, I think, what, I... And I hope it doesn't burn you to death or swallow you whole, as dragons are wont to do. Thanks! This is a weird conversation, where I think one side is being sarcastic and the other side is not picking it up. Did your herd welcome you back after returning to Arrowhead? They all allow me to visit, but won't let me move back into the camp until I perform a series of tasks to earn their favor. Yeah, 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 you're back to unfriendly, you gotta jump up the reputation gains, get at least friendly with them. That's fine. That won't take too long, just go kill some kobolds for a while. I wouldn't know anything about that. I wanted to ask you what happened between my brother and Duncan Ash. Why don't you ask Duncan yourself? 
because he's dead? What? Oh, you've been exiled for a while. He's a ghost, so that's really not the problem as much as the fact that he hates me. He must blame Jacob. How did you know? It's a long story. I'll start from the beginning. A long time ago, there was a man named Jacob Bits. I know that part! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, three hours of story time. All right, what we got? So, Jacob and Duncan were searching for the cursed vaults together. Jacob worked on earning the forest vault, while Duncan worked on an extra powerful erumpent potion. Perhaps prepare for whatever Jacob thought was guarding the next vault. And Duncan wanted them to stick together, but my brother wanted them to split up to move faster. I always thought your brother was particularly assertive and impatient, but perhaps he had a reason. Maybe someone else was pushing him. Duncan might feel like my brother tricked him and abandoned him. That he'd still be alive if Jacob hadn't pushed him to make an already explosive potion even more powerful. I need to talk to Duncan. If he'll even see me. Alright, okay. I suppose I'll see you again, probably for the last time. Um, although that will actually finish up the class, so before we go see Duncan, I'm gonna finish up these pixie lessons. Alright, let's learn about some pixies. And how to defend ourselves against them. Take your seats, class. Today we'll be studying and learning to defend against pixies. Pixies may seem harmless enough, but they can become quite the nuisance in numbers. In that regard, they're not much different than people, really, but I digress. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think it's interesting that um, fairies are still presented in such a positive connotation, but pixies very negative. I'll begin with a brief introduction to pixies. Um, especially when in a lot of fantasy settings, those terms are almost like synonymous for each other, where there's not like a huge inherent di inherent difference between them. I know Harry Potter is a little different. Well, thank you for volunteering to answer this question about pixies. How would you best describe a pixie's voice? Shrill, maybe? I'm gonna say so It's not deep. I'm gonna say soft. Oh, it was shrill. Okay. Fine. Hey, listen! I guess, yeah, that's pretty shrill. Allow me to demonstrate how to handle pixies. You just... Hit them. You take out your wand and just bash them over and over again. Just... Looks an awful lot like the fairy model with just a goblin head. A goblin-y... Orkier head. Alright, defending against pixies. I too will hit you. Bop. But, but I just want to see a close-up. There we go. Wow. Um, I think that pixie died? I think it's dead and still floating. Whoa, a whole lot of them showed up. Sick with letting the pixies out was an accident, but this is actually a good lesson. Your task is to subdue them. Subdue? Subdue? That's a word that could easily be taken in weird ways. I'm going to read them a very boring story. And hope that that subdues them. Just gonna read some, like, income tax legislation. Hurt students should head to the hospital wing. The rest should cast Flipindo on the tough of pixies still loose. I'm a tough pixie! I will draw a squiggle note at you. Looks like an eighth note rest. <laughs> Banished! I'm pretty sure they got sucked into a ventilation staff shaft there. Alright, pixies are complete! Boom! Let's finish up this chapter, shall we? Meeting with Duncan Ash. Is it gonna be a task, or are we gonna duel? 
Or maybe have a conversation tree. I told you to go away! I just have to poop, sorry! I mean, no. I talked to Torvis and found a letter written to my brother after you died. I know what happened. What do you think you know? You and Jacob were searching for the cursed vaults. I understand. It's what I like to do. You wanted to stick together, but Jacob was impatient and wanted to split up to move faster. He tried to enter the forest vault while you tried to brew an especially explosive, irrumpent potion. I'm assuming you died when that potion accidentally exploded and you blame my brother. You think if he would have stayed by your side and not pushed you to brew it, you'd still be alive. I know it's too late to change anything now, but I'm sorry, Duncan. Oh, a sincere apology. <laughs> I don't give a crap about that! That was not the reaction I expected. I actually found it quite sad. My eyes got watery and everything. What's so funny? You don't notice how easy it is to manipulate someone's perception of the world until you're no longer a part of it! You're saying it isn't true? Parts of it are true. You're saying Torvis lied. You're saying my brother isn't clever. You're saying you were in charge. Um, I... Hmm, I'm gonna go with the button on this one. Maybe he was in charge. Um, I don't think my brother wasn't clever here. I'm, we're gonna go for that. You're saying Torvis lied to us? No, I'm saying Torvis doesn't know what he's talking about. I'll tell you the real story. Ooh, eight hours of talking. All right. We'll jump into that once I get some energy. Torvis thinks Jacob stole from him, but Jacob was actually protecting Torvis. There's... I'm very suspicious of this arrowhead. That is a thing that I'm just gonna just state for the record. Wish I knew who's really telling the truth. So you're saying that you and my brother were being manipulated by R, and he lied about it to protect Torvis. And to protect you, and your mom, and Hagrid, everyone he cared about, R threatened to make them all disappear. The letter from R made it sound like you were both trying to join their cause, or group, or something. We didn't want anything to do with them. But yes, in their mind, whoever lived the longest would earn the right to become their next member. Whether they wanted to or not. Member of what? I have no idea. You may not have noticed, but I didn't live the longest. So, R told you to brew an extra explosive rumpant potion? They said they needed it to destroy whatever is guarding the vault after the forest vault. And the potion exploded and killed you? I tried to tell them it was too dangerous, but they were more than willing to risk my life to find out. Then why are you so angry at my brother? Because after I died, he didn't expose R or run away or stay to, our plan, stay to plan our revenge. He took the blame for R. He let himself get expelled. He was probably just afraid. I thought the same thing until he joined R and became even worse. How? What? How, how do you know that? Eavesdropping isn't difficult and you can pass through walls. From what the teachers say, your brother became one of the most feared wizards in Nocturne Alley. Why would he take the blame for R and join them? He's either a coward who decided he'd rather side with a manipulator and murderer than face him, or a liar who used me from the very beginning, or a double agent who thought the only way he could take them down was from the inside? Either way, you're better off leaving him wherever he is. Leave R alone before you end up like me. Leave Hogwarts altogether before it's too late. I can't leave until you give me the Marauder's map. I don't have it. Peeves couldn't get it to work, so he swapped it with someone. What? Who did he give it to? What do you even want it for? I need the map to find the next cursed vault so I can save my friend and find my brother! Do you believe what I told you about Jacob? Yes, but I can help him. I believe you. But if someone is manipulating him, I can help. Just don't let Jacob manipulate you too. Unless you want to end up like me. Semi-transparent and very blue. Either way, you don't need a map to find the next cursed vault. You just need to ask Mundungus Fletcher in Nocturne Alley. He can tell you all about your brother and who he was working with while you're there. You make the hardest task look easy. 
Okay, we're gonna go talk to Mundungus. Difficult to pronounce name. But that'll be it for chapter 7! Thanks for watching, everybody. Some interesting developments going down. Not sure who to trust. See you next time.